Frank Doyle was born in Petaluma. He was uh, in his 20s when his father, Manville Doyle, created the Exchange Bank. That was 1890. Frank became the second president of the Exchange Bank, and he used that position to promote Sonoma County. Frank Doyle's been called possibly one of the, the most effective and visionary community leader, and I, I think uh, anyone would be hard pressed to name someone who has done more. During the Depression, uh, many people in this area, farmers in particular, had a very difficult time. Uh, and Doyle was very helpful in uh, extending loans to these people, renegotiating loans, uh, making sure families could hold on to their farms. And we have many stories that have been told to us by families about uh, their appreciation uh, for Doyle and what he did to help them through uh, very difficult times. In 1923, some folks had the harebrained idea to build a bridge across the Golden Gate. And as we now drive across that bridge uh, from San Francisco, we're on Doyle Drive. And the reason it's called Doyle Drive is because Frank Doyle um, was one of the, the major, most influential um, forces in the creation of that bridge. Uh, the bridge had been designed for many years. The engineering was uh, a concept that had been developed. But like many projects, including projects today, uh, the financing and the political approval were the, the hard parts. So from 1923 to May of 1937, Doyle spent 14 years working to get the bonds floated, uh, that's the financing for the bridge, and get the political approval. And as a result of that effort, uh, he was named and is known as Father of the Golden Gate Bridge. One of the greatest things Frank Doyle ever did was when he died in 1948, he dictated in his will that the earnings of a controlling interest in Exchange Bank would go towards scholarships for Sonoma County High School graduates interested in attending Santa Rosa Junior College. He also specified, of course, that Exchange Bank could never be sold, so that promise would never be broken. And every year, something over 50% of Sonoma County High School graduates are offered a Doyle scholarship for attending Santa Rosa Junior College. So with a stroke of a pen, he created the richest endowment for any junior college in the country. He only had one child, Frankie, and uh, Frankie was 13 when he died of complications from tonsillectomy. And so he was never able to put his own son through college. He did memorialize and honor Frankie with the creation of Doyle Park, one of uh, Santa Rosa's sweetest parks. His gift to the young people of Sonoma County has, in, in my mind, never been paralleled, uh, not only in this county, but possibly nowhere else in the nation. Ladies and gentlemen, the class of 2007.